Hey, I'm Tara and I formulate skincare products. Make sure you guys leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So this video is a little different than what I normally post because normally I give my recipes for free, but this video, you're gonna have to pay for the recipe. That's because this is one of my OG formulas. This is a lip scrub I actually sell over on my websites. And you guys have been begging for the formula, so I decided I'm gonna share it with you guys, but it comes with a cost. You can either pay $5 a month over on my Patreon for the formula, and you'll have access to 90 plus other bonus videos I have recorded in the past, and the ability to message me anytime and early access to videos. Or you can buy the recipe over on my website for just a flat rate. It will cost more, I'm not sure how much yet, but it will cost more than just the $5 a month over on Patreon because patrons do get a discount because they're the real MVPs. So I formulated this creamy lip scrub to obviously be creamy. It's got this like whipped texture to it without actually having to whip it. And it will change a bit in viscosity depending on it being hot or cold, but for the most part, it will stay right around the same consistency. And also if you like piping, you can pipe these lip scrubs. So let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure all your equipment is sanitized and your workstation is sanitized as well. You can use some rubbing alcohol to spray your countertop with. And I also have a video on how I sanitize my equipment. I will link down below. And again, I won't be showing you guys the formula, but you can purchase the formula on my website or you can get the formula over on my Patreon. All the ingredients and equipment will be linked in my description box. So I'm gonna start with a glass bowl that is heat safe, add in my stearic acid, this is the hardener, and then add in some shea butter, which is an emollient. It'll also add some creaminess to this product. And then a plant oil. You can use whatever oil you would like. This is also an emollient. It will help moisturize the skin. Now I'm gonna take my stovetop, put it on about like medium heat, and then place a pan on top of the stovetop with about an inch of water. You don't wanna use too much water, and then place your bowl in. Make sure there's not too much water to where the water is splashing in the bowl. I also like to take some Reynolds wrap and then just fold down each of the corners to make it more circular and put this over top of the bowl just to prevent anything from falling in. Sometimes the water will start boiling and if that happens, you wanna turn down the heat, but putting this Reynolds wrap over top of the bowl definitely helps prevent any water from getting in because you do not want that to happen. So you wanna let that just chill while everything melts down. And once everything is melted, you can remove from heat wipe down the bottom of the bowl to dry off any of the water. And then just give it a little bit of a whisk. You don't need a machine or anything, just a hand whisk is fine. And then I like to cover it. I leave just like a little bit of opening to let it vent and I just let it cool. I do come back periodically and mix it here and there just to prevent anything from clumping because that can happen. So as you can tell here, I gave it a mix before it solidified all the way through. You wanna make sure you're doing that, again, so you're not getting chunks. I really don't have issues with this chunking, but that is possible, it might happen to you. So just in case, just make sure you're coming back periodically to mix it as it cools. Once it's under 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you can go ahead and add in the cool down ingredients. I'm gonna be using this red coloring. You can use some mica powder, you can use lip safe lake dyes i'm using red six here but mica powders work great as well i purchase a lot of my mica powders from madmica.com the reason i use red six here instead of a red mica is because red micas are really hard to get a true red so that's why i'm using red six and then go ahead and add in your flavor oil i'm using strawberry you can use whatever one you want i'll link down below it to one of my favorite places to get flavor oils the one I'm using here is from Bulk Apothecary. And then I'm gonna add in vitamin E. This is an antioxidant. This is great for your lips, but it's also uh, going to help keep the oils more fresh and keep them from going rancid. It's not a preservative, but it does keep oils more fresh because if oils sit for a long time, they get that like, I don't know, just this awful smell. This will help extend the shelf life of the oil only. And then you can go ahead and add in your white granulated sugar. This is just basic sugar from any grocery store. It's my favorite sugar to use. I like that it's white, so it doesn't affect the color of the lip scrub either. So that's why I prefer using this sugar, but you can use whatever sugar you want. 
and then just mix it a little bit with the whisk. And then I like to pull out this spatula here and start mixing it. And you're going to have to just keep mixing it until it gets to that creamy consistency. And here it's about 81 degrees Fahrenheit and you can see the texture of it. And I'm just gonna cover this, let it sit overnight and we'll check back on it. All right, here we are the next day. And this is what she looks like. I noticed the red always kind of like brightens up after it sits. This is around 67 degrees. And as you can tell, it's still very malleable and creamy. It's a little harder from yesterday. So like I said at the beginning, it will change in softness depending on the temperature but it's not going to go completely hard. I'm personally just obsessed with this texture. I'm extremely happy with the way this formula turned out. I can't tell you how many lip scrub experiments I did to finally get this final form of this lip scrub. That's a big reason. I don't wanna just give away this formula for free. It's a product I sell. It's a formula I worked extremely hard on. And you know, there's just a lot of growing of the internet in the formulating community and people taking formulas and not crediting people. So when it comes to these like golden formulas, I like to keep them to myself or maybe I'm gonna start selling them, we'll see. But you can take a Ziploc baggie or a piping bag, whatever you have on hand, place it in what I, I'm using another beaker, but any container and then pour in your lip scrub. And then just remove the bag or the piping bag and cut off the tip. You don't wanna cut off too much. You can always cut off more later but you can't put any back. So I always start with a really small opening, but with scrubs, you normally need a bigger opening because of the sugar. So keep that in mind. And I'm not doing any kind of fancy piping piece or anything, just basic piping in there. And I'm really only doing this for aesthetic for the video, but I do pipe when I have a lot of lip scrubs to fill. But if I only have like a couple to fill, then I won't use a piping bag. Oh, I also sell these in bulk. So if you wanna purchase these in 16 ounce jars or 32 ounce jars, you can do that too. And I have a video all about how I make my labels. So if you wanna learn how to make labels, I'll link that video down below. But yeah, like I said, you can go purchase this lip scrub over on my website if you want. It comes in a variety of flavors, strawberry, vanilla, peppermint, peach, cotton candy, and bubble gum. Or you can buy it in bulk or private label from me. So you can sell them under your brand's name and you don't have to make it. Or you can purchase a formula from me and make it yourself. You can purchase the formula over on Patreon for only $5 a month, where you'll also have access to 90 plus other exclusive formulas, the ability to message me anytime and early access to videos. Or if you purchase it on my website, it will be more than $5 a month. I haven't set on a price yet, but it will be more expensive. And it's just a one-time purchase and you don't get really any perks, just the formula. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do have other videos already recorded, of formulas I'm not sharing, but you'll be able to purchase them. So I hope you guys like this new concept. I'm a little scared to do it because I know you guys are used to getting things for free from me. Uh, this time you gotta pay. Sorry guys, I just see a lot of other people doing this and it's something I wanna dip my toes in and we'll see how it goes. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for all your love and support. Some music and find someone to listen